In a little over a century, plastics have transformed the way we live. From wind turbines to aircraft wings, they've helped build the modern world. Today, the latest versatile durable plastics help us to do more with less, reducing energy use, emissions and waste. And the fresh innovation and infrastructure they bring enables the creation of new jobs. But there's a problem. 40% of plastic in Europe is single-use packaging. And since the start of mass production in the 1950s, we humans have produced 8.3 billion tonnes of plastic in all, weighing the same as around 80 million blue whales. And the majority has ended up in landfill, incinerated or polluting the planet. But the problem starts way before the plastic reaches our bins and rivers. Over 99% of plastics come from chemicals sourced from oil and gas production. The more plastics we make, the more oil and gas we use. So it's no surprise that many of the oil and gas companies behind the climate crisis are investing heavily in plastics production. Meanwhile, the expansion of oil and gas production has led to a dramatic fall in the cost of raw materials for plastics, and output is on the rise. Cheap fracked gas is also driving huge new investments in America and worldwide. With $164 billion funding 264 new facilities or expansion projects in the US alone. And with a wave of investment in China, Europe and the Middle East, the global infrastructure for a new generation of production is well underway. So, is the coming increase in plastic production sustainable? And are the benefits worth the cost? There are few bigger long-term threats to our planet than greenhouse gases. These gases are already increasing global temperatures, melting ice caps, raising sea levels and threatening coastal cities. Right now, the production of plastic is responsible for 5% of global emissions. And in the years ahead, the harmful gases from plastic production are set to grow almost 300%, meaning it will soon be a bigger contributor to climate change than aviation and shipping put together. In the last decade, humans produced more disposable plastic than in the entire 20th century, and we can all see the results. Yet the leading oil and gas companies plan to increase plastic production by an extra 40%. And this is a problem for all of us. Even if we could recycle every last piece of plastic we use, the damage caused by making it can't be undone. So as well as tackling the growing crisis of plastic waste, we also need to confront what happens at the start of the plastic's life cycle. The time to act is now. Because when the world's new plastics factories become a reality, they'll threaten the future of the planet with accelerated climate change. Friends of the Earth is working to change all of this for good. Join us and be part of the solution.